Hello guys and welcome back to our organics tutorial series. What we're going to be looking at today is filling in our skeletal structure and smoothing it out to make it all look very nice and um, prepare it for detailing with all the cloth and apparel and whatnot. So there's three ways that you can fill this in. Um, one way is to type slash b space b, this is using voxel sniper set your materials to wall slash v wall slash v35 and you can just go in and let's make this a bit bigger b3 and fill it in as such and you can be a bit rough with this because using this method there's a lot of smoothing that needs to happen so doing that like that or a uh, second method is to use slash b space l which is the line brush I'll give an example on this leg here you just take your first point and your second point and you fill it in like this which gives a lot more of a neat result right off the bat and makes for a little less smoothing uh, that needs to be done afterwards and then the third method of course is to just take your wool and start doing it manually which I prefer to do on a smaller scale I'd say that this scale is actually small enough to do this by hand because uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time in making it smoother and uh, but really either way will work fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in now and then I'll be right back with you guys to start on smoothing it. And we're back. Uh, I've finished filling in all of the skeleton. Uh, as you can see on the left side I used the ball technique where I used the uh, ball brush and on the other half I used the line brush. Now right off the bat you can see that this side is already a lot smoother this one's very messy still and this one already kind of looks like a person well this one also but you know what I mean um, however this this side took basically no time at all to fill in and this one took considerably longer because there's a lot more clicks and a lot more precision going on and there were some holes that I then went in and just put their block there a little block here fill that in so that takes a considerably longer amount of time but it does save you a lot of time in the smoothing which is our next um, point uh, the, the the thing with smoothing is that you have to understand how curves work so as you can see right here we have this going down going down 90 degree angle going down we don't want these these things, we don't want these, we hate these. We want these to go smooth, we want these curves to be nice and smooth. By which I mean you go from small to large to larger. Uh, we can even do this here. Uh, so we have to basically do this for the entirety of the, of the build. Uh, the the thing with this side is that it's going to be easy to just manually go in and make those nice round edges in our, in our organic and uh, we can just make some quick adjustments uh, we don't have to break too many blocks if we do it on this side however if we start with this it would be a lot of lot of trouble so what you would have to do is take a fill brush and fill this all in a bit more make it all a bit more smooth I'm just clicking rapidly to, uh, to quickly get a bit more shape into here and after you've done that you can go in by hand or you can take a blend ball let's just use a size of three and smooth that down a little bit and the thing with the blend ball is that you can use it only on the side where you use the balls because uh, if you do it here you get holes you don't want that so the thing is here if you want to do uh, detailing you'll have to do it all manually 
and on this side you can use some tools however in my opinion I think doing it manually gives a much faster result even though it takes a bit more effort to put in the lines so if we just take a bit more on this side and do this here you know just just smooth it all out and get those nice um, round edges in there and this is going to be clothed so we just need the basic shape of a human we don't actually need to make it uh, atomically correct using uh, muscles and all those types of things because it's not a a nude statue it's going to be clothed so we basically need the rough outline of the human or in this case white demon so I am going to mm, smooth this side out and then just flip this side over to the other side also the reason I haven't done the head is because I usually find that during detailing um, there's a lot of messing around I do with the head in terms of size if you just make the head an appropriate anatomy uh, anatomic, anatomically correct size you can often run into trouble when you're adding all the cloth because oftentimes uh, concept arts use slightly smaller heads than than usual so that's something that we'll get to in the detailing phase so I'm just going to smooth everything out and we'll be right back with you Alright, and we're back for a quick second. Something that I got reminded of when I was doing the lower legs is that even though it's going to be clothed, uh, you should still uh, keep into account that the calf always juts out a little bit. So you'll have to add that little bit of shape into it manually because when you're doing the lines, you just get straight lines down so it won't put in that, uh, put in that little extra bulge for the Calves. So if we have that shape, we get that nice calf shape in there. So I'll be right back after I'm finished. Okay, guys, so here we have our finished torso. Um, I do have to point out one mistake though, which is someone pointed out to me that the legs. Uh, the lower legs aren't at the proper angle. If you look at the reference image carefully, you can see that the legs go out a bit more straight uh, than, than the way they go now. So that's another lesson for you guys, which is that you also n always need to get a outside perspective on what you're building. Uh, when you're building yourself, you can often just miss something or just gloss over something, forget something and if you get someone else to look at it they will often see what you have completely missed. So I will fix that and then we will continue our lesson on starting with detail. <laughs> Thank you.